Today I'll be showing you how to get the official ChatGPT application on your Mac. This only works on Apple Silicon based Macs, that being the M series chips, and you must have macOS Sonoma installed, that being macOS 14.0 and above. This does not work on any Intel based Macs, and any and it also does not work on any macOS version below Sonoma. So this is a very simple tutorial. What you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and go to chatgpt.com. Once there, you're just going to want to sign in. And I do want to make note that I do not have the upgraded version of GPT. I am still using the free plan. So what you're going to want to do is go to your account icon in the top corner here and click on download the macOS app and it'll give you the disclaimer that it only works with 14 and above and Apple Silicon so go ahead and download that save it to your desktop or your downloads folder and then you can go ahead and double click on the DMG file and then just drag it into the applications folder once you do that you may need to go in the settings after opening up uh, the GPT application you may need to go into the settings and OK it so that macOS can run the application so once you launch the application itself you'll be brought to the screen um, you actually you'll be brought to the login screen so then you'll just log in and then you'll be brought to the screen so this is just the interface, and you can now type in whatever you want in the search bar and ask ChatGPT uh, whatever questions you may have or to do whatever you want it to do. And you can also go into the settings here, which I have pulled up. And as you can see, my subscription is the free plan. Uh, you can upgrade from here if you want. You can control your data, your data controls, your archive chats. Uh, you can check for updates, and the biggest thing I like is the keyboard shortcut feature. I've set it to Command-G, so when I go ahead and click Command-G, it'll invoke this menu here, and you can type it in from wherever you want, your applications, you can be in a browser or watching a YouTube video, and then automatically just click that, uh, just type in that keyboard shortcut, and then it'll open up GPT. So you can go ahead and type whatever you want and then uh, it'll open up the uh, actual application and follow through on your prompts. So you can also keep GPT on the top. That means to keep it in front of the application at all times, and you can leave it in the dock at all times as well. So you can go ahead and fiddle around with these settings, but uh, that is pretty much it. I hope this worked for you guys, and if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.